We continue to preview the 2024 college football season. Our stop today is Barberville, Kentucky, as we get to visit with the head coach of the Union Bulldogs, Coach John Luttrell. Coach, a, a, a good season last year, now 4-6 and six the record, but that was much improvement from the season before, a, a, a winless season for Union. So definitely trending up and going the right direction there. Also having won three of the final game, five games of the season. Tell us a little bit about 23. Yeah, I was pleased with the direction that that uh, we're going in. Um, like I said, we we didn't win a game the year before, and I really felt like Joey left a couple of games on the field. Uh, you know, we had a, a close game against uh, University of Cumberland's here, had a two and a half hour rain delay, end up throwing a pick six late to get beat. Um, so you know, there were one or two games I felt like could have went either way. Uh, but really pleased with the outcome and the progress and and just think it's a step in the right direction. The coaches in the conference and, and media and those who had a vote in Coach of the Year seem to feel the same way about that, and they honored you last season with the AAC Coach of the Year, and congratulations on that on that recognition as well. Well, thanks, and I think that just, uh, first of all, it, it, you know, with my assistants, I couldn't do it without them, obviously. Uh I'm blessed to have a good crew around me, but uh, I think that that the coaches and the media just saw the improvement of the program, and and that was just a notch and a nod to uh, the respect of that. Looking ahead to 2024 now, Coach, a number of returnees, also a number of new faces that you're going to have all the way around the board. Taji Jackson was one of your all-conference performers last year as – He was uh, able to garner more than 500 yards rushing and a part of that offense. Tell us a little bit about the offense for 2024. Um, And Coach Donahue does a great job with their offense, and Taji is a mainstay of that. He, uh, I mean, I hate to put it this way, but he's a a specimen. He's a beast. Uh, He's about 6'2". He reported to camp about 235, can run, just an extreme good athlete, and – I just expect him to get better and better as it goes on. Coach, that's one of those players that uh, if if I saw 6'2", 235 coming at me with a full head of steam, I don't know that I would want to be in the way of that. He's one that can scare you now. That's true. (laughs) Uh, Talk a little bit more about the offense and and the direction you're going. Is it that running attack, or, or will we see more of a mix? I think it's a mix. You know, ideally, we want to run the football. We want to establish the run. We've got Taji. We have another returner, Jaden Ward, and then a newcomer that transferred from Jacksonville State, DeMarco Hopkins. I think with those three, we've got we're going to have a solid run game. Uh, but you know, on the outside, we have Tony Norman and Isaiah Johnson returning. Both of them quality receivers. I really think Tony should have been an All Conference uh, player, but it, it didn't work out that way. But uh, um, you know, I think we want to run the football, but we're also going to take advantage of what you give us. We're visiting now with John Luttrell, the head coach of the Union Bulldogs here on Midwest Sports Net, where we talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. And I encourage you, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel. I'm not sure what it does algorithmically wise, but it's encouraging. So we would ask you to do that, subscribe to the channel. And coach, I, I stop for just a moment as, as we recognized you also as the coach of the year in the AAC, but for your uh, 25 years of service for our country. And so I do want to say thank you, sir, for that service. We appreciate that. And that's very important to us here at Midwest Sportsnet. So thank you for that. Uh, from the defensive side of the ball, again, there are going to be a couple of changes from some of those mainstays that uh, we saw last year. But you do return Byron G. He was an all-conference performer for you last year on the defensive line. Eight and a half sacks that, that he put on uh, in the stat column for you. Start right there and tell us a little bit about the defense. Well, again, Byron is a mainstay of that at our defensive end, and uh, he did a great job. He has a great uh, ability to rush the passer. And that's really his his niche, uh, if I could say. And along with him, you know, we have um, Sammy Hawthorne, who was all conference coming back at outside linebacker. We've got Cam Bradshaw, who we moved inside, who is another just specimen of a man um, that I look for big things out of. Uh, Brayon Farley in the defensive secondary. I, you know, I think. Uh, if you look at our team, the way we played last year, defense was definitely a strength of our team. Uh, Coach Boston Bryant does a great job schematically uh, out of our 3-4 defense. And uh, 
really gets the most out of our guys. And I, I think if you saw us play, you, you would see that. Coach, I, I agree with you. And, and one of the things that I do recall from last year, you bookended the season with shutouts. So that's that's not bad if you're pitching a shutout at the beginning and the end of the season as well. It, it is a testament to what your defense has done. On special teams, you return a uh, kicker or sophomore last year, Dustin Brown, coming back as he had, was 7 for 12 in field goal attempts last year. Tell us a little bit about the special teams unit. Uh, the best thing about Dustin is he's so consistent. Um He's just a guy that we can rely on. We feel like if we get around the 30-yard line, we're in Dustin's territory. And we also have a, a punter that came in from Southern Miss, um, Griffin Fleming. And I truly, Joey, I think Griffin has got the ability to, to kick at the next level. He has got the ability to either kick uh, all, kind of an Australian-style kick or kick straight on, and he can really put the foot to it. And I think that he's one that, that some scouts might end up taking a look at. Well, you look ahead then to the season. Union had just four home games last year, and you flip the script at least a little bit. You get two to start with uh, before you head on the road for the first time. I start the season on a Saturday, it's September 7th against Cumberland. Then you're at home also the next Saturday, Campbellsville, before you go on the road the first time you take to the road to take on Thomas. So tell us a little bit about the opening to your season. Yeah, and I, you know, I'm really pleased that we're opening with two home games. Our new president, DJ Washington, has done a lot to try to booster the atmosphere of our uh, our games here at home, here at Union, and I think you'll see that uh, the fans that come to watch it, you know, we'll do a lot of things. We're honoring actually the 1984 team, which was the first team back to Union playing football after 40 some years. I was on that team. Uh, so there's a lot of good things that, that can happen, you know, and, and it gives us a chance to get off on the right foot early. Uh, and then when we go to Thomas, you know, Thomas, I think this might be their second year playing. Yes, sir. Um, but their coach has a great pedigree. I mean, he's coached at West Point. He's, he's been around, so he knows what he's doing. Uh, so it, it's going to be a great start to the season. Well, we appreciate that, and we're going to follow you all this season, and we're very thankful that you took some time to preview it this year. The reigning AAC Coach of the Year, John Luttrell, thank you so much, sir, for taking time with us today here on Midwest Sportsnet to preview Union for 2024. Thanks, Joy. I appreciate you guys covering us and, and letting us take the opportunity to talk about our guys. 